When Tomb Raider first came out in 1996, I didn't get into the game at all. I mean, I played it, uh, but I only played the, the tutorial of the game. I also played the second game, Tomb Raider 2, but again, I didn't do much besides trying to trap the butler Winston inside of the walk-in freezer. And then I basically skipped the series right until 2013's Tomb Raider. And here it is, guys, my copy of Tomb Raider Collector's Edition. All right. There it is. Now, it comes in this uh, collector's tin box or tin case. Hopefully you can hear that. Um, it's supposed to be a, you know, a, a, like a survival kit, like, as, it, as it's printed here. Uh, there is a card printout on the bottom here, right? It's, it's, it wraps around the back as well. Uh, that gives you, um, that shows you the game features and, you know, and what's inside, what, you know, what the contents of the tin case is. Let me get that a little bit closer. There it is, right? So there's the contents uh, of it, including, um, you know, every, all the other information uh, for the game. Okay. Uh, there's a nice embossed logo of the Endurance. So let me take the, um, uh, the printout, the wraparound printout out of the way. And there is a, like I said, uh, that logo there of the Endurance, that is embossed, hopefully you can see that. There's also an embossed logo of the uh, the axe, the climbing axe icon down the bottom. There it is, you can see that, All right, so nicely embossed. And it's also painted um, with these specs, um, right, so it, it so, so that it looks like it's worn and rusted when it's actually not, okay, so there it is, All right, all around the side there, the top down at the bottom, and also um, on the bottom, as you can see here, right, there are these different um, handprints, oh, there it is, hope you can see that, this handprint, these are not actually, well, some of them are mine, but the, the ones that's uh, that's in a dark color, they actually came with the box, so they're actually painted on, whereas these ones here, yeah, they're, they're my fingerprints, all right, okay, so let's open it up and see the contents. All right, so let's take the lid off. There we are. The first thing that greets you when you open the lid is this card. All right, it's a printed card that depicts the shipwreck. Um, and I'm guessing this is in-game, so it's, it, it is um, yeah, in-game. And if we remove that, just like this, we get the Lara Croft figurine. All right, and also just a quick note: the reason, so you can see, there's a there's a bow that sits outside of the plastic mold. This bow here does not have a space inside, and if I put it in there, then it might get you know um, squished and it might break. So hence why, when I first got it, this also was sitting outside. So yeah, you know, just just in case you're wondering. All right, so let's um let's take this out, put it to the side, and I'll show you what's underneath that. Underneath that, we get Tomb Raider Survival Edition. <clears throat> Okay, the survival edition box. Now, here's a here's a quick explanation. The survival edition, which is this one here, it's that is exclusive to Europe, and it includes a uh, mini art book, double sided map uh, of the in game island, uh, the game soundtrack, weapons pack, and a survival pouch. The collector's edition, which is this one here, which is the one that's you know the, the tin case. This, in, this nets you the 8-inch Play Art Sky Lara Croft figurine, which is right over here, right? And the Survival Edition, right? And, sorry, the Lara Croft figurine in the middle tin and the Survival Edition. So, essentially, the Collector's Edition gets you everything in one go, all right? Now, can you imagine if this game had come out, you know, today, now, around, you know, in this era? You'd have to buy them separately. And depending on the version, you might just get a download code with no physical media, or worse yet, you won't even get the game, right? But anyway, good, it's a it's a good buy, right? Okay, so next up, let's open up the survival edition. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off, and there we go. Just in case you're wondering, there's nothing else inside of the box. It's just this uh, little plastic mold here that you know that um, that houses the the survival edition and also the um, uh, the Play Arts Kai figurine. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side. Right, so now I'm going to show you the survival edition and what is inside. So there, before we go inside, anyway, there's the box, right? So it's it's nice and quite thick. Uh, there's the back, and you can see here the difference between the survival edition, which is this one, and the collector's edition, which is this one here. So I'm going to put this side by side so that you can compare uh, each other. Hopefully, uh, there's no glare. There we go. That is the difference between collector's edition on the left and Survival Edition on the right, in terms of content, right? Okay, anyway, 
let's open up the survival uh, edition so if we open it up i'm going to move this a little bit back we get a few things inside okay so the first thing uh, that we get is this survival pouch right it's made from a rubbery um uh material so and there's also three of these um zip well uh ties and uh, not not zip ties locks uh, in there so essentially you can put in here water right and it's not going to leak and then you can always uh you know fold this like this velcro and that's it you have a you have your um you know your your water uh water pouch right or you can put in here whatever you want i guess your no, a phone probably won't fit oh actually yeah a phone probably will fit like the old tiny uh phones um you can also uh tie this string rope around it as well if you want Right, so there it is, and then you can also tie, you know, um, tie, move this around. There we are. Right, so that is the survival pouch. Okay, just to show you it again. There we are. You got all the different icons. I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure those are the skill icons from in-game. Uh, it's been a while since I played this, but there we are. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side. Next up, we have the game itself. There it is, Tomb Raider game. Okay. So there's the back of it. Nothing special. I mean, Survivor's Born. This is way back in 20, 2012, I believe. And then if we open it up, oh, we get a few things. Obviously, we get the Blu-ray uh, disc. Nothing special about the um, uh, the artwork, you know, behind the cover. There's no artwork essentially. It's just white. But there's a Blu-ray disc there. Uh, you got a few things in here. Uh, number one, just from from the back you get the Hitman Absolution Weapons Pack code uh, in here, right? And then you have here, um, a, I guess, a, a flyer that shows you the downloadable content, um, you know, for all the um, uh, for the game, Survive Multiplayer, etc., for Hitman Absolution. And then inside it is basically the code, all right? And then you also get the booklet, the Tomb Raider booklet. So just to go through them, <clears throat> first page is always going to be the same, second page is setting up. Uh, and the controls, there we are. And then the warranty support center, and then, <clears throat> you know, a couple of pages of notes. And uh, yeah, you can, there it is, there is uh, the booklet. <clears throat> right, and that is the, that is uh, the game. Now, next up is the mini art book. There we are. It's very nice, not too thick, <clears throat> it's pretty good. Uh, so just going through them, uh, basically, you know, it's usual art book. <clears throat> Got an art of Lara there, met, attending to her wounds. Uh, Survivor is born. There you are. That's the endurance. <clears throat> Sorry about the glare. And a whole bunch of um, artwork from uh, in-game. All the different levels, I believe. Skip a few there. And there it is. <clears throat> There's the art book. All right. Um, you also get the double-sided map. All right, here we are. So let's open it up. <clears throat> there we go. There it is, the double-sided map. So it's double-sided because the, the back is a uh, is a poster. So the front just gives you the island of Yamatai, uh, Himiko's castle, Chasm Shrine, Mountain Village, you know, Yamatai Island itself, Monastery Gate, etc. And then on the back is a poster of Lara Croft. There we go. All right. And we also have this uh, figurine instruction for the, um, well, yeah, obviously for the figurine. There it is from Play Arts Kai. Right. And then there is a download code for the music track, which is right there. Survival's Born. Right. And that is everything you get for the collect, for the uh, Survivor uh, edition. All right, so I'm going to put all of these back. There we are. And that is the Survivor Edition. Okay. Right. Now, 
let's look at the figurine. Okay, so the figurine itself, if I take this up here, right, remember there's the bow there. Okay, I'm going to take this out of the uh, plastic mold. Right, we also have the shotgun right there. Uh, we have the arrow there, right? And we have several of these um, arm, well, hands, right? So you can replace Lara's hands with, with these, right? depending on, you know, how you want to, um, to look. Okay, there's one, there's another one, and there's another one right there, okay? And finally, Lara herself. There we go. Right. Oh, I forgot about this. Ha! <laughs> and the climbing X. Right. And it's uh, because it's a Play Art Sky figurine. It is every part is fully movable. Right. From the from the arm, uh, the wrists, uh, shoulders, forearms. You know, even the uh, upper torso, lower torso. Uh, head, neck, um, you know, this, what is it, the, um, the, uh, the, the knees, uh, the, the ankles, and everything. Unfortunately, the gun, you can't take off the gun, uh, but, you know, that's okay. But, yeah, there it is. There's Lara Croft there. Hopefully, I can stand her up. She's, uh, there we go. Just like that. Okay, uh, yeah, it's, it's very nice indeed. Um, yeah, there's a figurine. Anyway, that is, um, yeah, that is it for the um, collector's edition. All right, so I'm gonna put this uh, on the side here and we're gonna move on to the next, actually, you know what, I'm gonna, I am gonna stand this right here on the back. There we go, put this here, okay. Now, in addition to this, I also have Tomb Raider Def Definitive Edition for the PS4, which I bought because it was on sale. There it is. It's essentially the same game, but with better graphics. Now, there's nothing really special about this copy, besides the fact that this has never been played um, on, right? I've never played this. Uh, one day I'll get around to, you know, to playing it, but um, yeah, this is the, um, the better version of, you know, the, the first game. Right, the the, the 2013 Tomb Raider game, and inside it's just it's just that, you know, better graphics, and I think Lara's face also looks slightly different. Uh, but yeah, that there it is, Tomb Raider, definitive edition. Okay. Right. Next up in my collection is Rise of the Tomb Raider 20 Year Celebration for the PS4. There we are. Okay. Uh, looking back at this, um, you know. Uh, there it is written back because you know what, what's included you've got um, you know uh, Includes VR support for hope you can see that for blood ties uh, new extreme survivor difficulty mode new Afrin gun uh, inspired by Tomb Raider 3 um, Baba Yaga continuous mode cold darkness awakened 12 outfits 7 weapons and 35 expedition card. They're all in game by the way Okay All right um, So it comes in this uh, Sleeve paper sleeve as you can see here. Oop, there it is. All right and the inside, uh, so the game case itself, it doesn't come in the regular, you know, PS4 case. It comes in this, um, I guess, it looks like, kind of like a book, right? There's, there's the, um, hopefully you can see that, there it is. There's a spine, right? It's got a nice feel to it. It's, uh, it's, it's got a matted feel to it. I, I, I can't describe it, but it's, it's very nice, right? So inside, uh, obviously, there it is, there's the opening, um, of the book, right? Oh, well, of the game, uh, you get uh, essentially this is the concept arts. Oops, uh, a couple of flyers just uh, dropped off there, but I'll show it. I'll show them to you. Uh, what have we got here? All the different artwork for for Lara. Right. Oh, there we go. Lara in the bar, uh, and then yeah, and then also you have the PS4 uh, disc here, okay? 
All right. Now, um, what what fell out of it? Uh, so these these things fell out, uh, and they're nothing special. Essentially, one is a um, a Hitman uh, flyer available January 2017, and uh, the complete first season. You also get um, you know the precautions, etc. Blah blah. And there is a product registration card for Tomb Raider, and that's it. Those are all of the things that you get. So essentially, there is no booklet on this, uh, I don't think. But uh, it's, I mean, the game's straightforward enough. Um, if you played the first game, uh, when I say first game, I mean the, the first Tomb Raider, 2013 Tomb Raider, then this game will, will be, you know, it, basically the same, almost the same. All right, but there it is. Rise of the Tomb Raider, 20-year um, celebration. Okay. Put it right there. And last but not least is my copy of Shadow of the Tomb Raider for PS4. Again, there's nothing special about this copy, right? There it is. And inside is just uh, the registration card. And that's it. And the Blu-ray and the warranty, everything is printed on the inside of the, um, uh, uh, of the case. Nothing special at all. Um, uh, yeah, I've mentioned on my other videos, games nowadays, they don't come with a booklet or instruction manual or whatever you want to call it. Which is a shame because it feels like it's missing something. Uh, there's no, you know, there's no weight to it anymore. Um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I understand that you know games nowadays are being released digitally, but I'm a still firm supporter of buying disc-based games. Right, hence why, you know, I yeah, if if I can help it, I'll buy the disc-based games. If not, then yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I'll stick with the um uh, the digital copy. Now, what this game comes with, however, is this. It is a paracord keychain. Right? Let me I'll show it to you. This this is gonna be okay this is gonna be the first time I have ever opened this. I've never opened this before when I got the game and I got the game when uh 2017, 18 or something like that. I, I can't remember. But um, I've never opened this. So so I'll, I'll open it for you. Alright and let's see what's inside. There we go, right? It's not, you know, it is a promotional item, so it's not, you're not gonna be able to use this, you know, in, in real life situation. Uh, there's also a small two, Shadow of the Tomb Raider dog tag there, as you can see. It's uh, it's nice, I mean, yeah, you can use it, um, but yeah, I wouldn't be using this in, in real life, right? But yeah, there's the paracord uh, that you get for buying the game. Now, the reason why I have this paracord keychain is because I pre-ordered the game from my local retail, re, uh, retailer. So there we are. Uh, anyway, those are my Tomb Raider games collection. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe when you have a moment. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.